Hello again. Uh, today we're continuing the home server setup um, and getting it ready to do some actual work. So I found an interesting bit of software called Zcage, um, which I think looks really, really nice and handy for managing zones. Kind of gives you some of what VM admin does in SmartOS, but this is for OmniOS and so can pull uh, and create different types of zones, uh, you know, LX, you know, native zones, and then also Beehive and KVM. So I think this will be perfect for um, the virtualization. Um, fair warning, I have not used this before. So this is going to be going through setting it up from the documentation uh, online um, and trying it out for the first time and seeing how well it works. Uh, the other option, obviously, is to create zones the old-fashioned way uh, with zone config. Um, but this, I think, will save some time for most of them. So the basic uh, basic creation of the various different types of zones. And now that OmniOS also supports package source zones, um, it'll help with that. So let's get it installed. I need to uh, put some stuff in there. So we're going to need Node and Git. do 12 and get so let those uh, let those update there and then we'll have some more stuff to install. so I have to pull down the repository and install all the various uh, packages that are needed um, most of these are just the different brand packages and I'm assuming, you know, that will hit the dependencies, for instance, to get, you know, Beehive installed. So, yeah, Node is huge. Um, but, yeah, so this is uh, looks like a nice little tool. We'll, we'll try it out and see how well it works. Um, you might ask why I didn't go with SmartOS here. One of the reasons is just to do a little bit more stuff in the global zone. Uh, you know, SmartOS is, is excellent. Um, and if I was doing a bit more virtualization and less NAS, I definitely would have gone with SmartOS. But for the, the NAS purposes, um, I think OmniOS will beat it out slightly. So I'll find out where I am. Just pull it down, and then we'll uh, pull down the repository, and then we'll see what it's going to install. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary there. So, put these things, uh, put the packages in global here. Over the past couple of years, I've actually come to really, uh, you know, uh, like working in, in Node. Um, find it pretty, uh, pretty handy. Copy this guy, and we'll also add in the package source uh, brand. And now, because I should have the Beehive um, package, cool. 
So I've yet to use uh, Beehive on Lumos. We'll see. Now uh, the next thing is to activate a pool. And we need to activate And I have the pool zones. Okay, so it's created the following data sets, uh, Zcage, uh, base data set, and images and VMs. Let's create a, a native uh, zone here. this guy. Obviously I changed the name of the v-neck. Give it a and I have to put z-cage in the path here. So that's the So it's taken a second. I don't know um, what exactly it's doing. It's probably creating the data sets, et cetera. Um, and this is just a standard um, you know, default native zone. Um, leave a comment below if you want to see. I'm probably not going to go into creating any of the hardware virtualized, you know, the Beehive or KVM zones here, or even LX. I'm just you know, uh, testing it out here. But do leave a comment if you want to see any of that. Um, we may get to that anyway when uh, building out some of the services here. Put that in the background. Use some of the old tools. Um, so the zone is up, and it's probably um, probably doing some. Okay, cool. Okay. Do they have, let's see if they have a command to start the zone. Cool. So that actually did really simplify the creation of the zones. So take a look again at the, uh, the zone list. And we've got that. So this is pretty cool. Um, so we can get some information about the zone. So it also has a Z-Cage list. Nice. Oh, 
I'll save it to take the UUID. Oh, I should have put it in my path. Very nice. So let's also try destroying a zone. Fantastic. Well, all in all, I played with it for, what has this been? Three minutes. Um, it is uh, very cool. I think this will definitely simplify uh, zone creation. Obviously, I'm going to have to go into uh, zone config, I think, to do some other things. Like, um, let's see, options. Do we want to bring it up? No, you do have a file system allowed. Uh, the other nice thing is it will do a uh, Docker. So we can create a Docker container uh, and Beehive. So those are the features I was looking for. But so far, so good. Uh, we'll just see about getting a list of images. Let's visit the joint. Joint images, we'll say Docker. And uh, my favorite graph database. Ooh. It doesn't like that. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try. To base Alpine. Okay, so it's not liking to try Ubuntu. Hmm. Okay, so that isn't uh, working. Let's see. Also, it's Proxmox. Get Proxmox images as well. Um, we might as well create a uh, Linux branded zone here. Okay, we'll try pulling one of these images here. Okay, let's pull dash dash image. Oh, maybe it has some online help. I have to add the provider. Okay. We get some very, very.
precise percentages here. Um, that should probably be uh, truncated off, rounded to uh, maybe a tenth of a percent. So some of why these things are moving a little slowly is I just have some some stuff going on on the network at the moment because uh, I'm downloading some other things. And we'll see about creating um, this image. local. Okay, so my the downloaded image is available. Let's create the Make sure I still have my v-neck. Anything else? to give it a brand of LX. Okay, cool. So Well, there's our uh, our Linux uh, image. Start it. Disconnected myself. Uh, where are we? I guess it wants the alias here. And so LX zones work. Uh, I'll probably wrap this up. I know it was a little meandering, um, but I never used this piece of software before. Um, but as you saw, the install painless. Um, and it is working wonderfully. So this will certainly help speed up the process of getting my containers and VMs created uh, on this machine here. Um, oh, uh, one more thing to look at. What is it? Zcage Z list. with some of the other options we didn't say okay we got an update let's see the info okay 
Okay, very nice. Uh, what else? Let's just destroy this guy from over here. And that'll conclude uh, this. Like I said, leave a comment if you want to see some more Z Cage. Um, I'll become more familiar with it over the coming days. Um, also, next up, we're going to install some, you know, packages in the, the global zone, just some utility stuff, and start setting up uh, data sets to move my data over. Uh, thanks again for watching.